So there's this new program out called Blur Exterminator. It's mainly meant to sharpen up these images that are really blurry. So um, in this video, I'm going to show you just a bit of an overview of what Blur Exterminator is and is it worth it for deep sky astrophotography. Now, I may do a separate video, is it worth for planetary, but for today, it's going to be focused mainly on deep sky astrophotography. Now, as you see clearly right here, I got this image of the Triangulum Galaxy, and you see if you zoom in on it, it's kind of fuzzy a little from denoising. So what I can do is use Blur Exterminator. So it's in process, Deconvolution Blur Exterminator. That's what they said it is, so that's where it is. So stellar adjustments, uh, so it can sharpen up the stars. Um, I wouldn't sure this is program so new, but I wouldn't sharpen up the stars too much or they look funkified. And then uh, star halos, it, it, this doesn't really have um, much star halo, so I'm going to leave that alone. In terms of sharpened non-stellar, I'm going to keep it where it is. So um, there's correct only. I'm not going to use any of these options uh, down here. I'm just going to apply that. Okay, guys, so it is officially done. I just examined the image, and oh, wow, it looks a lot sharper. So if you compare this to the original, which was undo, redo, and that's the new one, old, new. If you can see, it did add a significant amount of noise in the background, which I don't personally like. Um, the stars look a little funky shaped. The, the galaxy does definitely have more detail, and it's definitely more defined. I think if you're looking for an overall perspective, then it's okay. But if you're going to like get in close and then nitpick like all the little individual details, then I think then there's an issue with this pro program because it's tending to add noise and over sharpening things. Now, if you're talking about like full on zoom out perspective like this and I undo it, as you see, it's a lot blurrier, redo it, a lot sharper. I think it's a lot better in the um, full view perspective. In my opinion. That's just my personal opinion. So if you guys are looking for this program to crop your images, if you're going to crop your images when you're using this program, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Now, if you're going to um, like just get a full view perspective of your image, like if you're not really cropping much or cropping a little, everybody pretty much crops a little because of the uh, um, uh, Deep Sky Stacker artifacts. If you're using Deep Sky Stacker or any really any stacking software, um, like on the edges and stuff, so you have to crop a little bit. I'm talking about like major crops. Like if I were to take this whole image and then just crop this in here like this, you know, just this to this. They just crop this galaxy by itself, then yes, you probably don't want to because it's going to kind of over sharpen. So, just in my opinion. But other than that, other than that, looks really good. If you zoom in here, uh, undo, um, a lot blurrier from the denoising and then redo. It's a lot sharper, still a lot more noise, though, I'd say. Well, that's about typical, though. You're going to get noise no matter really how you sharpen, where you're sharpen. You're going to get noise. There's no doubt about that. But, you know, still, um, does a pretty good job, in my opinion. So, that's basically an overview. Let me just check the stars because, like, um, the stars I feel like feel like a little funkified. You can see, like, I don't see like extra halos. I think there was halos, adjust star halos, so you can remove those halos. Um, so now I see whether uh, needing to adjust the star halos is for when you're actually doing the sharpening process. You want to be able to remove those halos, and um, that's what this is for. So, yeah. Just to remove halos, just a little tip there. But other than that, this program is pretty good. You can definitely sharpen those things up. But that's basically my perspective of the program. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my content, please subscribe. Anyways, until next time, clear skies.